beautiful caterpillars and today we are doing the foundation room review for the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is normal to combination skin. Get into it. The review, I should say. Okay, so today I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and yep. Sorry, the mirror's behind you guys. So if I look like I'm looking in there, it's because I am and not at you guys. I'm very, very sorry. So, um, so, I need to grab my mirror so I know what I'm looking at. That's why I'm not looking at you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm very flustered, so I'm just gonna put this on. My nose does not like to stay, but it tends to stay a little better. Yeah. The shade is a little too light for me, but I'm like right in between shades because the next shade up is too dark. So I just kind of have to deal with being a little paler than I am right now. So I'm just being a little still blendable. It's okay. I feel like it's going off. I take my e.l.f. powdered brush and I just put it on my face. Like so. I've already primed my face too. I put primer on before I started. Forgot to say that. I, so far, do not like how this is going on. It's very like patchy and like almost makes it look like I have a skin disease. I don't know. It just can you guys see that? You probably can't look at it. You can see if you're a person, it's very like streaky and I just do not like it. I don't know. It's, I've tried using my fingers. I haven't tried my beauty blender yet. My beauty blender, my real technique sponge thing yet to see if that made any difference. But I find that it helps if I put it on my hands, at least my forehead and my nose. Everywhere else it doesn't really matter, but I rub it in with my hands. Just got so much. My skin really looks like shit. Making my skin look like absolute shit right now. It like shows all the lines in my forehead. Like wipes away from my forehead too. Like I'm just trying to use my fingers to blend this stuff in because I find out off my brush. That's the reason why it doesn't look so good. But even with my fingers, I'm not a huge fan of this already. And this is not the first time I've worn this. The last time I wore it, I think like within four hours, my entire half my face was like off. That was fun. Not really, but whatever. I got all my lips. Oh, uh, face. Always make sure you blend it past your face. So 
there's my finished foundation. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just moving it all around. I don't know. Let me. Can you see? Maybe I should better just stand here. Can you see this? Okay, I'll check in with you when I have all my makeup done. Bye. Time check. It's 11:51. There we go. And the rest on my camera, on my iPod, because my camera has died. Um, well, it ran out of battery, so I'm trying to charge it. So, look at this, like my nose, I just did this, and my nose is already almost gone. And I haven't even done anything, I haven't touched my face, and... Ah, oh, this is why I do not like this foundation so far, and it's like all even in my lines, and it just looks super cakey, and... I put on the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer as well, and just, oh, I don't know, I like this foundation. Here's what it looks, finished. Look, um, this in camera, the forehead looks a little worse than it is. Um, but I, I know it had already looking like I've got like a weird skin disease, and it's 12.02. But everything ends up just finished my makeup. So I guess I'll check in with you guys a couple hours, but so far my it just looks really patchy and just not nice and my skin just doesn't look good on this. My skin was already being a little dry today. Probably should do my eyebrows at that time. Um, but yeah, my nose is just my nose is not like stay on. My nose, my chin, and my forehead just like wipe off. Everything else pretty much stays on point, so it's 528. This is my chicken at like this is the, it's basically I checked it three hours, I'll just forget to vlog it. Um, but like my nose is all gone, like this is all like caking, fading away, like right in my cheeks here. Yeah, I see that and all here is basically gone. Here's gone my brush and blondes, I think bronzer have, have gone too. And then just on my forehead, you see that all that facing cakiness after Four hours, it just that like five hours instead of three hours too is gone. Like, see, it's like only five hours, and I haven't been doing very much today. I was just out at like a lunch party thing, but yeah, look, it's like all gone. Chin here, and all here, and on my nose, and everything. My eye makeup's still pretty good, but. I have a bit of blood, bronzer, brush probably gone by now. And all this right here. So there you go, there's my chicken for 529. Yeah, there you go. It is 10.40 and I'm going to now insert the clips of what my face looks like. But basically, <laughs> it's been 10 hours. I've been much all my hair makeup is just gone off my face, off my forehead, like foundation is just gone. I'll be right back. I will insert the I will insert the clips right now of what this looks like. So. So, um, my final thoughts on the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin, which I didn't actually say that in the original thing. It claims to mattify and refine pores, match natural skin, nat matches natural tone, naturally seamlessly finish. It doesn't say if it's supposed to last all day or not, but I do not like this at all. I don't know if it's just my skin is super oily, but I don't think my skin 
is. Like, I know my skin is combination to oily skin, but it's not like an oil feel. Like, when I first put it on, my nose, like I did my nose, and then putting powder over top of it, it just like wiped it right off. Like, it just did not stay. If I use a brush, I use my fingers, my hands, it just, and even on my forehead within like a couple hours, it was just gone. Not even <laughs> a couple hours, like my, my nose was like two minutes, it was just whoop. You touch it and my nose would be like, up, up, up your face. Like, <laughs> I do not like this foundation, that is just my opinion. Maybe some people love it, but just for me and my skin, it just does not work well at all. I do not like it. But I've heard like a lot of, like not a lot, I've heard like some people like really love this foundation. I don't know if I've heard other people hating it, but I do not like it at all. But if I do find that my blender, my um, makeup sponge thing, my Total Effects by the Total Effects sponge, if that works, at all, I will let you guys know in a future video and a vlog if that at all helps it. I just haven't got it out today because I haven't actually washed it to use it because I got one. Uh, I just haven't used it. So if that works at all, I will let you guys know in a future video or maybe even when I'm filming this, if I, when I'm editing this, I'll put it up if it works. But as of right now, I do not like this foundation. I hate it. It just doesn't fit on my skin well. It just doesn't wear well for me. It just maybe for you guys it'd be better, but just for my skin, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's just no matter how I find my plat, I do with a brush, with my hands, it just it just wipes completely off. As you can see within like the three hours, my forehead was completely gone. It was half off my face. And I don't have like extremely oily skin either. Like I've never noticed like my skin being all shiny and greasy or anything like at all. So it's really, really weird that it does that. I don't know. I just I do not like this foundation. <laughs> so I just I don't find it works for me. So I am just being like a no. I hate it. It just does not stay. It wipes off my face in two seconds. I do not like this foundation. I do not recommend it. I mean, maybe it'll be different for your skin. Maybe if you've tried it and you love it, great. It just doesn't, personally for me, it doesn't work. And I don't like it and I don't recommend it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry the intro was a little weird. I was filming it and I had like 10 minutes and my camera kept cutting in and out. I had 10 minutes and my memory card ran out. And I didn't really have time to stop and pause it every two minutes and reload it because I needed to get my foundation uh, because I was going somewhere the day I shot it. So I'm sorry about that and it's weird and it doesn't make it much sense. And I'm very sorry there's not like a total intro. Actually, I will do an intro, but like uh, when I'm just apologizing for the putting on the foundation because that just looks a little weird. I will definitely do an intro into this video.